Today we are going to make this super versatile organizer that can be used for shoes, papers, magazines, whatever you want. Let's get started. I don't know why it took me so long to do this. I showed this shoe storage back in October. I started working with the prototype and the template and for whatever reason due to heaven knows what, I'm just now finally getting this out. Now you can make this out of any material. I'm finding that poster board is too thin. I would very much recommend using either a cardboard from a recycled box if you can, or go ahead and buy those foam core sheets that you can get at your Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, any of your craft stores. Now I know this is harder to get outside of the US, so that's where you might want to use the corrugated board or cardboard if you have that accessible. I do have a download template that I created free of charge. You'll find that on my website at craftyorganizer.com. It just gives you the guidelines of what type of folds and placements that you'll want, but you can completely customize this to the needs that you have, and I'll be talking about what those needs specifically should be as we go through. So let me show you how easy this is to make. You'll notice in the template I have a line marking the middle and then there's two sections that make up the center point. That will be the two sections where each shoe goes so the width of that will depend on the shoes. And then the side panels are going to be the edges that wrap around. The depth or width of that really will depend on what you're storing inside here whether it's paper or shoes. I do recommend having some sort of straight edge to cut with as well as something to measure. Now, as I said, you'll want to go as wide as what you're storing. So if it's shoes, go slightly wider than what your shoe is. And the side portions will depend on the height of your shoe. So if you're using sneakers, you'll want to go about an inch wider for the sides. And if you're using heels, whatever the height of that heel is, would be the width of the sides. So what I'm going to do now is get ready to start marking the center point. So I'm just going to find the absolute middle. Because my cutting mat has grids, it's really easy for me to go ahead and do that. Now from the center point, I'm going to measure out about four inches because that's the width of my shoe with the little give. And then I'm going to start measuring the sides. So I'm going to go the height of my shoe plus another inch so I have clearance. And then I want the bottom to only have about an inch, so that bottom part is two inches. Now, before I go to the other side, do not do what I did. I got excited and marked, and I went to parallels instead of opposites. So you'll want to make sure to not do what I did. Now the benefit of using a straight edge like this is I can press into it and effectively score the whole thing, but you can also use a dull point of something else to just score those edges so that they fold easily. I'm going to go ahead and fix that other angle so that it's correct and that way I can go ahead and score that edge as well. All I'm going to do is press my pen and this time and that gave me a score mark as well so that I can now fold these. So these are the sides and the middle does not get folded. And you can see once you fold those two sides around, the angles become the back. And this pocket is already done. So now I'm going to go ahead and begin on the second pocket. And I'm going to do this one more quickly. I'm just measuring based on the grids of my mat. And I'm pressing in this time as I'm measuring. And this way I don't have to take the extra step of drawing my lines on there. So I'm counting over four boxes, two at the bottom, and pressing down. And this allows me once again to already have the score marks in place. And now I can just go ahead and fold it along those score lines. And once the back is wrapped around, I am ready to start attaching. I found that a glue gun is the best way. Foam core and glue guns were made for one another. You get a really strong adhesive, but you'll attach one box and glue it together, but the second pocket you will not. You won't glue that until you've figured out how it fits around. You're going to want a little bit of that wiggle room to make sure that the other pocket can nest inside. You'll also want to play with it just a little bit to make sure that you're happy with where it's going to go, but once you get it and you know how it's going to fit in, 
Go ahead and glue the second pocket. Then you can add hot glue around the inside and place that other pocket right inside and press it down. You can make as many pockets as you need for as many shoes as you want. You can even make multiple towers, but you guys, this is how easy this project is. Now I could use command strips and hang these on a wall. I could also put a couple of broad head nails right through into a wall. The foam core is certainly strong enough, so would cardboard. And you can also decorate this at the end with any type of contact paper or wrapping paper. But this just makes for a super easy way to store shoes. Now, if you are using magazines, you'll want to not have that bottom open. You'll notice that it peeks through just a little bit. So that hole down there will need to be closed off. How you do this is instead of having that gap at the bottom where the angles are, have it meet the middle section so there is no opening. My friend Sherry over at the Posh Paper Lady really does a phenomenal job showing how to make something similar to this but look really high end. So if you've never checked out her channel, check out her video on craft room wall storage ideas. She did a beautiful job with this and this is I think the best way if you're using it for paper but the option that I did was just as efficient. You'll just want to make that gap closed at the bottom and then go ahead and seal it either with some tape or with your glue gun. Again, make sure you get this download off of my website, crafty-organizer.com. It's an absolutely free template, and these free things are courtesy of my patrons, who I am always indebted to. If you would like to support my channel in any way and help me get to that RV dream where I get to start driving around and organizing viewers like you, I'm so excited for that, and it is coming around the pike fast. I'm already starting to look at RVs and just tentatively start planning out that trip. So if you are interested in supporting that, my Patreon information is down in the description below. I also have some benefits available to certain subscriber levels, so be sure to check that out. Thank you for watching today. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And if you make one of these, let me know what you thought. And if you have any tips on ways to improve it or do it differently, let me know as well. And your fellow viewers will appreciate that as well. We're always enjoying the shared information in that comment section. It's such a wealth. So thank you for participating in that. I will see you guys in just a few days with our next video. Bye.